Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, we're checking out the K-Bar Utility Fighting Knife. This is kind of the genesis of all the main fixed blades that we know and have reviewed on this channel, you know, from Essie's to Becker's uh, to a whole slew of other knives. You know, this is kind of the genesis. Started out in World War II, handed to our military troops, and uh, was kind of the original survival fighting knife. So we're going to review it today. We're going to field test it, see how it does out here, see what it can do for you, and if it's really worth a purchase for you in today's world with all these very specific knives now. Now there are knives, you know, that are designed per, uh, specifically for wilderness, specifically for tactical. This was kind of like best of both worlds that they could come up with back uh, in the late 1930s and into the 40s. So I'll give you some basic specs. We'll jump out there and start testing this thing. Overall length from the back of the handle to the tip of the blade is 11.75 inches. The blade length from the guard to the tip is 7 inches with an actual cutting edge of 6 inches. This is the serrated model. You can get them plain edge as well. It is made out of 1095 Crovan high carbon steel. Rockwell harness 56 to 58. Weighs in at 11.2 ounces. And the spine is 0 0.16 or 5 30 seconds inches thick. And uh, full tank construction, leather stacking. Just a very iconic, super classic blade that uh, we're just going to go ahead and get out there and test out today. So let's go ahead and begin to beat on the K-Bar Utility Fighting Blade. All right, so this K-Bar Utility, you can see here, boom, right through that piece of wood. Awesome. You know, it is uh, 0.16 inches thick, or uh, right about 5.30 seconds, so not quite 3 16 of an inch thick. So this isn't going to be necessarily the best baton in the world. You know, you got your unsharpened swedge up here that's going to kind of damage your batoning stick. But you can get some kindling going for your fire if you need to. It's not damaging the serrations at all. And uh, very easy to go through wood. Process a little bit of wood doing some batoning with your K-Bar Utility Blade. All right, here we go. We got 3 8 a nylon cord with the K-Bar Utility. We're going to use plain edge first. Boom. With that flat grind ground in at 20 degrees, even, nice amount of belly. I can easily slice through that heavy duty nylon cord. And then if I go into the serrations, very even easier, even easier. Don't even have to tear, just push and it goes right through there. Uh, so the utility, K bar utility fighting knife is going to be awesome at your Molly, you know, uh, seat belt if you get flipped over in your Humvee or in your car around town. Uh, you know, any sort of man-made nylon rope type of material, this thing is just going to cut right through it, regardless if it's plain edge or serrated. Uh, it'll do a great job, razor sharp, able to cut right through that stuff. Great lockup with that uh, guard as I'm doing this kind of gut stab, you know, if I was in a fighting situation. Awesome. Really locked in. All right, so you've seen how it's able to stab the handle. This is the very classic, you know, original design leather stacking that you see. Very ergonomic, really nice, you know, for your hands. I wear large size gloves. You can see I have a whole extra stack back here in the back that uh, I have room for. So no matter how big or small your hands are, it's going to feel very good. In your hand, you got, you know, your nice non-lethal pommel back here with the tang being exposed. So you can see the full tang of the knife. And just feels really good in your hand. And you can, you know, you can chop pretty well with it with that pommel as well. And uh, the guard, you know, it's pretty thin, so you don't want to be, you know, batoning like crazy or whatever. But you know, it's really keeping you locked into place there. The leather uh, has been known. I'm sure they treat it a little better now, but in the past, um, you know, years and years gone by. Uh, with lots of moisture and humidity, the leather stacking can kind of swell and kind of bulge and over time kind of wear out. Um, but, you know, if you're in desert environments or, you know, just dry environments, you don't really have to worry about that. They do make this exact same model with craton handle stacking as well. Uh, so if you are in lots of humid, wet environments a lot, I might recommend that you uh, purchase the craton stacked uh, K-Bars instead of the leather ones. Obviously, the leather ones are super iconic and classic uh, and going to be great for traction, great, you know, ergonomics. Uh, so it's just kind of up to you. Do you want, you know, classic leather and are, you know, pretty in dry environment or if you're in really moist, humid environment, you can probably go with the Craton stacking instead. Dang, it's getting pretty good. You know, this uh, K 
K-Bar has a 20 degree grind angle, Sabre grind, and is just razor sharp. You can get some really good fine detail work going. I'm using the plain edge right now. You can easily do that. Get some shavings for your fire. Detail work that you might need to do, you know, just out on a camping trip or hunting trip or, you know, if you're having to survive, you got shot down behind enemy lines or left behind or whatever. And then uh, you got your serrations. They're not the best for wood processing. You can see there, they kind of bite in really deep and kind of tear, uh, but they're great for nylon rope and cord and different things like that. And you can use it in different ways. You know, I'm getting different types of thicker shavings, you know, if you needed that for some reason for your fire. You could do that and you could grab and get up close and it will dig in really deep and really quick into your wood if you're having to do maybe a notch or something like that. You can see there that's those serrations are cutting in. Then you go back to your plain edge. And this K-Bar, you know, has the classic guard and that's obviously for the fighting capabilities. And you can either hold it back like I'm doing here and you can get pretty good control over the knife and over your carving and whittling. Uh, they do give you about an inch blank spot right here and you can choke up and kind of use it, not as a finger choil, but you know, just kind of choke up over the knife if you want to get really detailed. Particularly if you're using gloves, you can easily do that. And the guard isn't really digging into my hand. You know, I mean, it's not necessarily the most comfortable uh, feeling, but I could definitely do this for several minutes without too much difficulty at all. Uh, and the guard's not really digging in my hand really bad, and I can really kind of choke up and get that more detailed work if I need to, or I can just obviously go back here and use a knife like this <clears throat> when I'm carving with the K-Bar Utility Blade. Okay, so finally, I, and again, guys, I'm doing the classic model. You know, the, this doesn't cut. You can get this plain edge as well. Excuse me. This one is the serrated version. I mean, this is the classic one from World War II, basically, just with some little bit more modified, uh, you know, the 1095 Crovan versus just the old 1095. Um, you know, you can get it with the Craton handles, the plain edge if you want. Uh, you can get a nice uh, aftermarket, or not aftermarket, but a, a nice... Um, polymer plastic type of sheath that's really good this is the just the classic leather one this is the u.s army version you can get the u.s marines uh, i i believe there's even a navy model possibly um, but uh, you know just all sorts of different ones that you could get uh, k-bar stamped in there classic leather really nice you got a drainage hole and a loop for uh, your lanyard around your leg uh, and then you just slides right into place slide that puppy in there you got your retention strap up here nice strong button so if you were to tug, that's about as far as it will go. So no edge is showing, which is great. No matter how hard I tug, really, really nice that you're not going to accidentally cut yourself with this knife in that sheath. Very, just a basic leather sheath, but a great one. You know, there's so many awesome, double the price. I mean, you know, you're looking at around around 50 bucks usually for this blade. Um, you know, uh, uh, great knives that cost double that, but have horrendous sheaths. So this is great that they just give you a very basic leather sheath. You got a huge uh, belt loop there, so you can put it on tactical belts, uh, different types of rigs, different things like that. Uh, just a great setup for just a very basic leather sheath that uh, will last a really long time for you, which is just awesome on this uh, K-Bar Utility Fighting Knife. All right, everybody, so in conclusion, we've tested out this K-Bar Utility Fighting Knife, and uh, you know, for the price point, uh, right around 50 bucks, it's a home run. It still can hold its own with batoning, chopping, car cutting, carving. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a jack of all trades, master of none. There are better tactical knives out there today. There are better, better wilderness survival knives out there today. But if you're just looking for an overall general uh, purpose use knife, you can't go wrong with this blade. You're going to be able to defend your life if you need to uh, in a life and death situation, you know, regardless if you're in the military or on a hiking trip and a, and a wild animal attacks you or something or, you know, just home defense. Or, uh, you know, you need to prepare a fire and, you know, survive the night. Either way, this K-Bar Utility Knife can still hold its own and is still worth a purchase for you over 70 years after uh, its original inception. So, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this has helped you guys out. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.